Me and my parents moved to a new house. I finally have my own room. I can finally sleep alone, without my parents. I'm seven years old, I'm a big boy. Hello everyone, Fickbit here. And we're playing Sleeping Alone. It's getting late, I should turn off the TV and go to bed. As you've heard in the intro, this is the first time we have our own room. Go to the bathroom and brush your teeth. Understood. Leave the house, get killed. And the push to open doors mechanic. With some poltergeists that close the door automatically. Don't know why those are in so many houses in horror games, but sure. Looks like a basic house, so... Gonna do the desk. Oh, there it is. I must have some very long arms to reach that from back there. Go to your room and go to sleep. Why did that door open? Hmm. Pretty sure... That thing should have been closed. Or maybe this is not poltergeist, just a case of very peculiar physics. Yeah, probably that. Oh well. Uh. Okay. For a moment I thought, huh? Is there only one room upstairs? Where the hell do your parents sleep? But no. Strangely, instead of there being like an open room design with the staircase, it's like this. I'm used to staircases not having this upper wall. There being a railing instead. Oh well, doesn't make a difference. Okay. That's my room. That's my parents' room. I don't want to wake them up. And this is a storage. With Keludo. 80% stronger. I have no clue what's going on here, and I still can interact from the other side of the house. Oh well, let's go to bed. And see what kind of nightmares we can think of. Mom? Dad? Are you knocking on my door? That was definitely just a dream. Okay, I don't know why you would think that. That's just my imagination. There's nothing to fear. Once again, I have nothing to fear. Yeah. But I need to pee. Just ignore the figure that came into your room. Go to the toilet. Well... As the intro said, we are a big boy now. So, there's no toilet monster that's going to swallow us. Yeah, looks like we're alone at the home. And the TV looks a little bit strange like that, but... It's fine. Wait. Was the shower reddish all the time? I'm not sure about that. Ew. Flush. Go back to sleep. Please let me flush. Please flush. I hate that it's yellow. I hate it. I really, really can't do with excrements. I know it's only virtual, but it's still so effing disgusting. Also, I think my parents are probably not alive anymore. Or it's really all just a bad dream and imagination.
Hello? Okay, I just had a full night's rest. It's finally morning. I'm hungry as hell. Mom, Dad, did you make breakfast? Strange that my parents aren't doing anything. Mom and Dad are still sleeping. I'll go wake them up. Yeah, I'm still suspicious about that and still disgusted by that. So, moment of truth. Are my parents dead? Why is my door like that? Mom, Dad. Where the fudge are they? I'm getting scared. I'm not used to this place. There is something... Your parents are proud of you. How do you know? Can I trust your words? Okay, at which point am I going to get jumped? I know it's going to happen. But when? Anybody in the house? I feel like I smell blood from the bathroom. Well, I was talking about that in the night already. So, dead parents probably. Eaten parents? Who the hell took all of the all of his parents up to the bones? I managed to escape from the house and call a neighbor for help. He called the cops and they searched the house. They found the entity and took it to a special laboratory for research. I was taken to a psychiatric hospital. Life has never been the same. I lived with my grandparents, but they later died. God damn, this is depressing. At least the storyline. The overall story was pretty generic for a horror game. Oh well, it was a decently made game. I enjoyed it, I hope you did too. If you did, like, comment or subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!